All right, so I actually was editing another video that I recorded earlier this morning and I got like halfway through it and I was just like, nah, I don't want to give you guys that. I'm just going to start it all over. So here we go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy, G Miguel. I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be about me going eight months total without getting a retwist and what I kind of experienced throughout. Now, prior to me going eight months without a retwist, I the longest period that I hadn't had a retwist was like three months. Over my eight months, I have to be honest, I didn't really take like the best care of my hair. And I'll put some photos up so you guys can see. My hair was starting to get dingy, dry, and I also wasn't drinking a whole lot of water. Recently, I actually have increased my water intake, but I wasn't drinking a lot of water at the time. And yeah, it definitely takes a toll on your hair. Like you can definitely see the difference between my hair then and my hair now since I've been drinking my water and I just got my retwist, my maintenance yesterday. Another like key important part that I also noticed over the eight months where I wasn't having my hair retwisted was that my texture, my hair texture was changing. So whenever I had a retwist, a fresh retwist like this, you know, your locks are gonna feel different in this part of your hair. And then it'll also change some of the texture here. And it tends to be kind of wild in there. Like when my hair gets in that phase, when it's in that form, it's tough to manage. Like it's hard to keep it moisturized because it just drinks hair. I mean, it just drinks oil. That actually leads me into my next topic. So what was significant about this retwist above like any other retwist that I've had previously. Now keep in mind, I've had my hair retwisted by this loctician twice before this, this occasion. The reason that I enjoy going to her, she is kind of far, she is 30 minutes away, but I will go to her because she's, you know, top notch. In my opinion, she's the best loctician that I've used, that I've had. Ironically enough, I know this is also on a tangent, that video that's like my most viewed video, like the best oils for dreadlocks, top five oils. I actually need to remake that video because I didn't, I wasn't aware of this oil at that time. This oil I would put up neck and neck above, yeah, head and shoulders, not neck and neck, but head and shoulders above any of those oils that are in that video. But if you guys are interested in this, I'll have a link for this in the description. Again, I don't profit anything from it. Um, she is a local loctician. She also has her own YouTube channel. Her name is Pure Bell Locks 904. I'll also put that either on the screen or down at the bottom. Uh, but moving into like the next order of business, one may ask like, what? why did I go that long period without getting a retwist? So initially it just started as, uh, when I got my hair retwisted in December, I got it retwisted for a job. So I had just started a new position and I needed not necessarily to have it like look I just needed it to look good, you know? Like, I just long story short. Like, two months, I guess, went by. Yeah, two months went by rather quickly because it was like that holiday rush. It was retail wireless. So that holiday rush went by like a blur. And I look up and it's January, February, and I didn't have any, like my hair was still fine. I wasn't, I didn't feel like my hair was anything out of the ordinary. Plus it was getting longer, so it was easier to manage for me. Kind of could just throw on, where, where's my head been? I have one. That two week, I mean that two month period to the eight month period, that six months, I don't know like what caused me to not get it maintained. I guess it was more so exploring, like an exploring phase. I also was going through a lot of changes and it was during COVID. And it was during COVID, so yeah, I wasn't trying to get sick. <laughs> Into the next order of business. I'm sorry if this video is dragging. It's not meant to be long. If you guys are enjoying the content though, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like. It lets YouTube know that this is a good video. What sparked me to like get my hair retwisted? What inspired me to get it retwisted again? To be honest, to be frank, my hair was just not feeling the same. It was starting to feel like just matted and crunchy, you know, the typical things whenever you neglect your hair and not oil it and moisturize it often and routinely like you should. So my hair was starting to look a hot mess. I had like build up on my scalp and I would definitely not do that again. So that leads into like the next question. Would I go that long without a retwist again? Probably not, probably not eight months. I like 
the feeling of like my hair being soft and healthy and light and not heavy and full of product that I don't like that. So yeah, the next time I get my hair retwisted, I was talking with my electrician. I think two months, two to three months will probably be the interval that I get my hair maintained moving forward. Um, hopefully this video is not too long. Again, I know that I just said that, just wanted to reiterate it. Um, but I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 464 subscribers now and we're blossoming. You know, we're getting like 200 views a day. And that also leads me to my next thing. We get so many people that like come into the channel and come into the community guys and just kind of like leave. And I don't know why that is. I really don't know why that is. When I say leave, I don't mean leave like subscribe and unsubscribe. I mean, they just come into the community, view the content, get the information they need, and then they just dip. And it, it's kind of disheartening. I have to be honest, less than 10% of the people that watch my videos subscribe. We're at 30,000 views and I only have 464 subscribers. So the ratio there is not that good. Um, but I'm not really gonna compare myself to anyone. I know this is a marathon. I know this is only the beginning. But I do feel like, you know, I put in some effort there. I have like 44 videos up. Just gotta keep going, I guess. Also, that leads me to my next order of business. Shout out to my co-host on my podcast. His name is Tashawn Anderson. And he actually just started his YouTube. It's named Hellcat Hooligan. I had to think there real quick. Hellcat Hooligan. I'll leave a link down in, this, in the description as well. Uh, but on that note, guys, I think I'm just gonna get this video out of this camera into this computer and out to you guys by nine o'clock. Give me like an hour. I'll probably put a little bit more time into the thumbnail so you guys get the click. But <laughs> on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. This is your boy, G Miguel, and I'm out.